Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney's Animal Kingdom. I decided to come out and see if there's any new fancy food items I can try and also ride some rides. I love Animal Kingdom, it's one of my favorite parks and they have a really good selection of rides that always get me pumped up for the day. So, let's go do this. And take a look at this. We got Goofy and Chippendale. And that's not a bad way to start off the day to see Goofy and Chip and Nail floating down the river. That's so fun. I think I'm going to start off my day by heading into Dino Land USA. They have a bunch of different seasonal items that change up quite often in there all the time. So it's a good place to see if there's any new snacks. Now that it's officially June, they have a whole bunch of different items like Pride Month items and even Father's Day items. So I'm sure we'll find something fancy. I also low-key might want to ride Triceratops Spin. I probably haven't ridden that ride in a year and a half, so I think it's time. I do know that over here they actually have seasonal ice cream sandwiches, so I think I'll wait to actually check that out first. I think it might be a smart move to actually ride the ride first, because then if we eat something, we don't have to go on something that's going to spin us round and round and round. I know Triceratops Spin is like a, uh, a kitty ride, but I like riding Dumbo and I like riding uh, Aladdin's Magic Carpets. Kind of the same thing. Oh, listen to that. Strange though that Primeval World hasn't opened back up yet. I mean, it's just sitting here, so I don't understand why they wouldn't have it running. I mean, if they're going to tear it down, tear it down. But the only attraction that's open over here is, uh, yeah, the Triceratops Spin. I have to put my face covering on because you still need to do face coverings on every attraction and indoor location. And I wore my Pandora one. I'm so excited. We actually got number two, so let's go get that dino. Ooh, number two this way. Yes, thank you. I think we'll uh, hop in the front. Yeah. Ooh, it's kind of just like Aladdin's Magic Carpets because the front row raises it up higher and lower and then the back row has a lever that tilts it like backwards and tilts it forward. Oh wow, I wish I sat in the back. Oh, we're going up. <laughs> All the way up. <laughs> oh, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to reach, I'm going to reach back here. Oh. <laughs> well, back up this way. <laughs> now I'm gonna go down. I'm going down. Ooh, and I love the music in here. Look at this. Hey, let's go back up. We're going back up. Triceratops. <laughs> the music is so good. Oh, oh, oh I'm shaking. <laughs> Look at them. They're going like this. They're going crazy. Oh, looks like we're coming in for a landing. Whoa, boy. Whoa, boy. Okay, for real though, that was a fun ride. I love the music. They're like, everyone's having fun at the dinosaur dance. I know that the Restaurantosaurus has a Father's Day exclusive cupcake. Looks like it's a vanilla cupcake with chocolate chip cookie dough, buttercream filling, caramel frosting, and an edible image. But I want to see what the ice cream sandwich is first. Dino Bites is right next to Restaurantosaurus and that's something different where you actually get the ice cream sandwiches. and you have to order at the window. You can't mobile order like Restaurantosaurus. And they have an ice cream seasonal sandwich, but it's not that new. I think it's been here for a little bit. So I think I'm gonna go with the Father's Day cupcake. I gotta give it a try. But here is the seasonal ice cream sandwich I was talking about. I think it's been here for a couple weeks though. Strawberry shortcake. It does look good though. Also, it's getting a little bit hot out, so I might sit in here and enjoy the AC for a bit. This is a great place to just get out of the heat. It's very nice and refreshing. And plus, we're having a cupcake. Ooh, cupcake. Fancy me. Thank you, good sir. Ooh. I'm not much of a cupcake eater. I feel like I have buyer's regret. I should have gotten the strawberry shortcake ice cream sandwich. I probably would have enjoyed that a little bit more. But I was kind of intrigued by the chocolate chip cookie dough uh, filling on the inside. So I hope, I hope I made the right choice. We'll find out. And here it is. I think we're going to cut this bad boy right in half. Got to get a look on the inside. Ooh. Oh, wow. This actually might be pretty easy to cut. Usually they're a little difficult, but this is going right down the middle. 
Oh, there's the, the uh, cookie dough. It's not as uh, like filling as I thought it would be. Funny, not as filling. <laughs> and honestly, that might be a good thing because I think my biggest complaint with these cook, uh, cupcakes is they're always so sweet. So maybe this is actually gonna be very good. I mean, I love cookie dough, so we'll find out. We've got a little bit of cake, a little bit of cookie dough, and a little bit of the uh, frosting, all in one bite. It's actually really, really hard, like the cookie dough is. It's not so much of like a filling, it's legit cookie dough, like look at that. That's actually cool. I probably would have enjoyed the ice cream sandwich a little bit more, but you win some, you lose some. Either way, it's cupcakes. It's all cupcakes and ice cream sandwiches. I wanted to make sure I don't have any green frosting on my face, but I think we're good. So, I think we're gonna move along and enjoy the park a little bit more. We are gonna get some more to eat. I wanna have din din, like I wanna have a dinner. I'm not too sure where I wanna go, either Satuwi Canteen, which I haven't eaten there in a while, or some other location that I accidentally stumble upon and I'm like, wow, that sounds pretty good. I think now we'll make our way over to Expedition Everest and take a little ride and come face to face with the Yeti. And that actually brings up a very interesting question. So, when it comes to Animal Kingdom, one of my must-dos is Expedition Everest. Like, I need to come here and I need to ride Expedition Everest. But, a lot of people really love Flight of Passage. So, like, if you can only do one, which one would you do? Expedition Everest or Flight of Passage? I'm sorry, I love Flight of Passage, but I gotta go Expedition Everest. I mean, I love this ride. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. Are you Team Expedition Everest or Team Flight of Passage? Here is a quick look at the wait times. I like how they added these signs. This is actually new right here. They might have put this in maybe uh, two weeks ago, I believe. And it actually gives you a breakdown. So Expedition Everest, 15 minutes. 25 minutes for Cali River Rapids, Dinosaurs, 10 minutes. And then it's done by land. So Asia, Dino Land, Discovery Island. Where did Pandora go? Flight of Passage, 50 minutes, I bet. 50 minutes! Ha! I knew it. it. Says 15 minutes, but it does look a little bit longer than that. I feel like this line moves very quick. Yeah, usually this does move very fast. So I bet you it's probably 15 minutes. Pretty accurate. Yeah, definitely about 15 minutes. And I'm going to wait for row one. You got to go row one. Trains coming in the station. Attention, Expedition Everest team members. There we go. I always sit with my cell phone in my pocket on the inside because I did lose my cell phone on this ride one time. So this one right here, always on the inside. Oh, here we go.
survived. We have our hat still, and our cell phone is in our pocket. All good here. <laughs> That was awesome. And as soon as I got off, I was like, oh, I hear the music. So I ran down here to see Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto. And look, there they are, making their rounds. Hi, friends. <laughs> now I think I'm going to make my way on over to Africa. Now, I would ride Cali River Rapids, but I really don't want to be soaking wet today. I feel actually really nice and dry. I'm not too sweaty. Oh, I'm wearing my new spirit jersey, the 626 one. And this is actually designed as a cool spirit jersey. Like, it's a lightweight one. There's only two of them that they made so far. They made this one, and then they also made the Lion King one. I think they sell the Lion King one. I have it as well. I'm going to show you it, like, on the, on the tag itself. It shows you, and they're amazing. So if you get a chance to get them, well worth it. Since we're in the business of trying to find new things, the tea stand here has a new seasonal beverage, the Tart and Tangy, an exotic blend of refreshing iced tea with frozen lemon and mandarin syrup. I'm gonna give this a go. You can also add vodka for $11.99. This might be pretty delicious. A little bit of Tart and Tangy. I can't wait to try this actually. Ooh. Oh, I can taste the tart. It's very tarty. <laughs> it's very tarty and tangy. I like it though. It's very refreshing, cold. It's not uh, like I thought it was going to be like a half and half mixed drink, but it's mostly all frozen because they add ice in there. So it's like adding ice to a slushy. Uh, I feel like that's what makes it frozen. Okay, now it's getting a lot better. The trick is to mix it around a little bit and let that frozen lemon actually melt a little bit and then it's very delicious. They serve this at all the Joffrey stands, so it's not just to Animal Kingdom, but it is new and I do like it. But as I was walking over to Africa, I have to say the backside of the Tree of Life is so much better than looking at it from the front. You have no like crowds of people in your way and it's just got a beautiful landscape. So if you ever want to take photos, come back here. It's so much better. Also, is anyone else very excited for Tusker House to open up? I can't wait to try it. I know it's not going to be family style, but I'm excited to see what they come up with. This restaurant was always one of my favorite restaurants. I hope I can get an opening day reservation. I will be here. And oh my lord, you know what else I just realized? I have not been here since the Festival of the Lion King reopened. I hope we can go watch the show. I think we're going for it. The next showtime's at 5 and it's 4.30. I think we're gonna hop in line here. I have not done this since it's reopened, so I have to, I feel like. I love it though, it's one of my favorite shows. Now I feel upset I didn't wear my Lion King spirit jersey. I should have done it to celebrate the festival of the Lion King. I hopped in line about 30 minutes before the next showtime and I'm stopped right here. There's only four people in front of me. I hope I'm able to make this show. It would be so sad to be five shy away from not seeing it today because it is the last show. Like this is the last showing of the day. We made it in. Lucky us. I was so nervous. I was like, oh no, we're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. Looks like we got a pretty full show here. I got a not a bad spot. I mean, you definitely can be a little bit worse back up there, but I'm happy right here where I'm at. I'm just happy to be here to watch it in general. Proudly present a celebration of Festival of the Lion King. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. Habarit. Welcome. We have been expecting you. everyone. It's me, Simba. You've all picked a very special day to visit. You see, today we've come to town for a big celebration and you, my friends, are invited to join in the fun. The show can begin. Hey, what are you doing? Slow down, slow down! Hello, Pumba! Look at me! I'm in a parade! <laughs> <laughs>
boy oh boy that was amazing isn't it I love it and now we can come out and we can say hello to Pumba here actually it looks like Pumba's sleeping doesn't it look like he's just sleeping and he's like just <laughs> waving his head I can see what's happening why and they don't have a clue who they'll fall in love and here's the bottom line our trio's down to two who Oh no, and it also looks like when we came out of the show, it started raining. It's like, uh, raindrops falling on my head. It's not too bad though, just little drizzles, but I still need to get something to eat, so I think we're gonna head to Satuli Canteen. I put my mobile order in, so by the time we get over there, it should be ready. And I like walking in to the Valley of Mora, start to hear all the crazy animals in here. You hear that? It's like I'm staying at Boulder Ridge. But can we just talk about how much I love Festival Lion King? It is such an amazing show. It makes me a little teary-eyed. I have no idea why. I just have a great connection with it and I'm so happy it's back, honestly. My mom, when she came to visit, that was her favorite show. She absolutely loved it. I remember coming here uh, vacationing the first time I saw it. I didn't know what to expect and then I was like, wow! Like it hits you so hard and it's unbelievable. And it's always stayed there as my favorite show at Inter uh, Disney like throughout the years, always. Here is a look at the menu. You create your own satuli bowl. So you like select your protein. You can get uh, grilled beef, grilled chicken. You can get a combination. You can get shrimp and you can get tofu. Then you select your base, rice and beans, red and sweet potato hash, noodles or a salad. And then you select your sauce. So I think I'm gonna do a combination bowl with red and sweet potato hash. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna do any sauce. I like it plain. And here it is. Take a look at this bad boy. Like I said, I got the red and sweet potato hash, and then we got the combination of beef and chicken. And doesn't that all just look so amazing? Technically, this is a quick service meal, and because French Quarter is not open, I would have to say this is the best quick service meal you can get on property. Hands down the best. This is my first time actually getting the red and sweet potato hash, so I want to try to get a little bit of everything. I always like to get a combination bite. That's why I ordered the combination. <laughs> the perfect bite. Seriously though, this is so amazing. I absolutely love it. It is so good. Holy moly. I can eat a whole nother portion probably. I'll have another. I would be interested in seeing what the uh, noodle base tasted like, but I like this potato hash. I mean, this is delicious and it mixes so well with the beef. Oh, much too good. Honestly, I could probably just come in here and eat this bread and sweet potato hash on its own. It is that good. I mean, the roast beef and the chicken are phenomenal as well, but what really ties it all together is that right there. That was so good, and now I am full. Like, that is a big portion too. I don't think I've ever felt like so full from a quick service meal before. So delicious though. I hands down recommend getting anything from there. Next, I wanna try the cheeseburger pods. I think that would be interesting. Flight of Passage is still at a 50 minute wait, but I really feel like the rain's gonna come down pretty hard. So I think we're gonna start making our way to the front of the park, just in case we get caught. Hey, Greg, before I leave the Valley of Mora though, I do want to show you a really cool Easter egg. I think I mentioned this before in a video that I didn't even get to put out because I fell so far behind on my Pennsylvania trips. There was a day I came here with Jackie and Jackie actually, uh, she put her video out, but I was trying to like set up my Pennsylvania vlogs and I never got to release it. I just thought about that. So I have like a hidden video that I've never got to show anybody. I didn't post it anywhere. <laughs> This scalper right here on the restroom is actually from MGM Studios in the streets of America. It was hanging off one of the buildings there. And I thought it's just a cool little Easter egg that they repurposed it and put it over here. So you got a little bit of MGM Studios in Pandora. Oh, but I did want to show you guys that cooling spirit jersey that I was talking about, like this one. But they have one for the Lion King. Right here they are. And you can see it says, 
Spirit Jersey Lightweight. And that's the same one that I have on now. It's actually very, very comfortable and it's still sturdy like a Spirit Jersey. It's a really good Spirit Jersey. And now, since we're actually right next to the Auto Grotto, I think I wanna go down there and see if we can see any autos. A little bit of a tongue twister. Auto Grotto brought to you by Outer Box. Outer, Auto, Otter. Otter, Otter Grotto, Otter Box. All right, the Auto Grotto is awesome. I never got to see them out there like playing around and having a good time like they were. So I uh, think I'm gonna call it a day here. I had a lot of fun hanging out at Animal Kingdom. We tried a new cupcake, a new beverage. We also ate some Satui Canteen and that was phenomenal. And we got to see the Festival of the Lion King. It's a very good day. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We will see you next time. Bye.